As if this week wasn't busy enough, some other WWE news and notes. Lots of rumors swirling that New Japan star Prince Devitt has an offer on the table from WWE. They've wanted him for a long time now. There's actually a match between Devitt and Adrian Neville now on NXT that led to Neville being signed to a WWE contract. So he's going to have to make a decision shortly on what he wants to do, You know whether he wants to stay with New Japan or move to the U.S. Devitt was actually backstage at the recent TNA show in Dublin. Uh, they want him, you know, in their company as well. I don't see that happening, though. I think it'll be, uh, you know, WWE or, or New Japan. Also, Kenta, star of the Pro Wrestling Noah promotion in Japan, who apparently is a huge WWE fan, flew from Japan to Orlando last Sunday to the WWE Performance Center. He was there all week. They were taking a look at him. Kenta posted a response on a message board online or on a, a blog, not a message board, uh, addressing the whole thing, saying he wasn't there for a tryout, he wasn't there for an evaluation. It was a, a dream of his to just, he felt like he had to give it a shot. And he got the blessing of you know the promoter from Noah to fly over and, and just work out in the ring and whatever else he did while he was down. He was there for the week. It wasn't like it was a one-and-done type of thing, so... He claims it wasn't a tryout. It was just something he wanted to do. It was like a dream of his. It was a goal that he set. He always wanted to go over there and, you know, whatever. Yeah, right. Okay. It wasn't a tryout. Let me say this. If WWE ends up signing Devitt and Kenta, and I I would think there is a chance that they would want to sign Kenta, those two are huge pickups right there for them, okay? But their track record with Japanese talent is really not all that great. I'd be a little concerned. I've seen Kenta wrestle live at some Ring of Honor shows many years ago against Daniel Bryan, and the guy is good. You know, that was that was six or seven years ago, so he's older now, but he's still very good. I just wonder, you know, if they sign him now that Punk is gone, if they'll let him use the GTS as his finish since Punk stole the move from him in the first place. I think Punk's admitted that, too, that he, that he took it from Kenta. You know, and come to think of it, you know, Brian stole his flying knee finish from Kenta as well. This poor fucker has all of his signature moves stolen, and now he's going to come over, and he can't even use them. Anyway, he's uh, he's going to be making an announcement about his career on Monday at the Noah Show. So by the time many of you listen to this, I'm sure his announcement will have already been made, and I presume we will know at that point whether he is Orlando bound or not. 